right here on a Wednesday. Ponder this. Week 15 in the book. All right. I know that's not the week we're in, but I'm running a little bit behind as I'm sharing with you these thoughts. But uh, so glad that you're a part of uh, this. And if you're a regular listener, watcher, all right, thank you. Thank you. And, and let me, and, and I've done this before and I want to keep doing it just as, just as a reminder. If you enjoy Ponder This, why don't you share it? You see, the best way for it to get out to more people is for you to share. Now, if you're watching me on our Messenger Church YouTube channel, then what you need to do is become a follower. All right. Or hit like on that and, and that therefore others will find out about Ponder This or our weekly live broadcast or our e- Wednesday evening word studies with pastor. We want as many people as possible to tune in and be a part of this uh, social media ministry of Messenger Church. All right, we want you to be a part of it. This is opportunity. I call these tools of ministry and I want to use every tool at my disposal to talk about Jesus, to talk about how good God is. The Lord knows we have enough negativity on television, Facebook, social media. Everyone is out to get somebody. I I don't want to do that. I want to share Jesus. I personally believe you have a choice. Any social media product, it can either be a tool, a toy, or a weapon. I choose to make it a tool for ministry. Never a weapon, all right, never a weapon. Always a tool to lift up the name Jesus, to be an encourager, not a discourager, all right? So, hey, hey, let me encourage you, six o'clock, tune in with me for Word Studies with Pastor tonight. I will be ministering, starting another series. It won't be a long one, but starting another one on the subject of God keeps his word. God keeps his word. I'm going to be sharing some promises that God has given us. I'm going to be sharing the process, all right, that that it entails for us to know that God is keeping his word in our own lives. A lot of doubt, a lot of confusion, a lot of questions, going on right now, especially with what happened to all of those beautiful children in Texas. The evil, the evil that is leashed on our nation is beyond understanding. But you know what? God is still God. God is still God. So we we must learn to lean on him. And I I want you to tune in with me as I I I remind everyone that hears me, as well as at seven o'clock in a live service, I'll be teaching the same thing, but an extended version of it. All right. So I love to have you. Let's get into our thought for today. Something to ponder. When in the middle of a long struggle or battle, we often find ourselves wondering when, never if help is coming. 1 Samuel 26 and 23 gives the assurance that help is on the way. Here's what he said. The Lord rewards every man or woman for his or her righteousness and his or her faithfulness. In other words, stay true to him and he will stay true to you. Stay true to God's word. Stay true to living by the laws of God and the directions of God, all right? And God will always be true to you. But that that verse says, the Lord rewards every man for his righteousness and his faithfulness. Faithfulness means being true to God. God bless you. Ponder on it. Think on it.